Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the second half of December. We're going to pull first some Coffee Cup Oracle cards by Amira Salon. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for you. Sagittarius, if you are celebrating holidays, happy holiday season. Let's find out what's going on for you in the second half of December. What's going on for my Sagittarius? We have a key coming out for you. Oh, somebody is definitely moving into a new home. Just got that energy very strong. <laughs> Look at that. We've got a house coming out. Relocation, home, new home. And I got that with that key very strongly. Somebody is definitely moving into a new home. Okay, well, let's go ahead and clarify and get some more messages here because it isn't for everybody. Knight of Cups. Ooh, the Empress. Hangman. Chariot in reverse. And Ten of Wands. What an interesting energy. Definitely somebody's relocating. You're gathering on your things and you're going to a new place. I see this very, very strongly. I feel like um, for some of you, this is not for everybody, but for a small percentage of you, there is a situation here when you were planning to relocate already and something kept you back. Like certain circumstances didn't go the way they were supposed to and there was a delay in this relocation. When I do see it happening now for you, that's what's coming up. I do feel also that for some of you, and the, there is this energy here where, sorry, I'm, I'm going to go back uh, just a little bit. Um, like I said, for some of you, you were you, there was something that you, when you were trying to relocate or you were trying to close out on your house and move to somewhere else and close out on a new house, there was some delay possibly with the documents here. Something was stuck. Something wasn't moving forward. And I, I do feel that it was something to do with a, either documents or some sort of paperwork with the house. So that's just the message that is coming through here. But now the energies are moving, things are changing for you, and you're unlocking the doors to a new, a new place that's what's coming up uh, for another portion of you here i do see that you are looking at um, um somebody's heart here i do get that very strong energy over taurus here and uh, also possibly uh, pisces but i feel taurus a little bit more here i feel like uh, there was a situation here where um some uh, where you both were a little bit unsure if the other person likes like you weren't sure if the other person likes you and that person wasn't uh, sure if you like them that kind of situation here and i do feel that now the feelings are coming out you are unveiling the feelings towards each other and you're opening up the uh, the heart of the other person i do get that very strongly i do feel that there is a transformation in this relationship where in, uh, in the past you were both kind of holding back and not necessarily opening up to each other now you are very strong energy over Taurus. I do feel that this person is um, very attractive in your eyes, especially physically attractive, but also this person is very much established. They're very mature. They're very independent. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this person. All right, let's go ahead. For some of you, I will say it's um, a single parent. The person that you could be connected with, it could be a single parent. That's just something that came through there. Let's go ahead and clarify the scale. What is that here for Sagittarius? Scales. What is that here for my Sagittarius? Why is that here? Strengths. Wow, look at this. Look at this beautiful union. We have two cups. This is a divine union. This is a romantic union here. And we have that with king of wands and queen of wands. And in between there is a world. 
This is absolutely beautiful. And together with the strings, you are a fire sign. So you are one of those, you're the king or queen of wands here. It doesn't have to be gender specific at all. But I do feel that you're connecting with another fire sign and specifically a Leo here. And that's the situation here. I see you guys opening a whole world to yourself at this time. There is a lot of love in this union. You are both equals you're on the same level, you're, you have the same understanding of love, the same understanding of your relationship, and the same understanding of what you want from the future. That's the kind of union I see here. With the scales, with the justice and documents, I see you actually signing paperwork. I do see you coming into a union, possibly a marriage here, and um, kind of legalizing your um, you live in arrangement. So for some of you, you lived with this person for quite a while and now you're deciding to actually uh, become legally married to sign that marriage certificate here. I do get that for a lot of you. And um, I do see you at some point, not necessarily now, but at some point you will be traveling with this person. Absolutely, you will be. I see you going on a very long and very adventurous travel here. A lot of passion in this union, a lot of uh, love in this union, but this is, like I said, it's a union of two equals. You both are very strong personalities, you both are very established, very mature, beautiful, beautiful um, union, and you have a lot in common, a lot in common. You're both very passionate, fiery people. I see that. Beautiful. You're just equal. It is a union of two equals. Amazing. Let's go ahead and clarify this house for you. What is that house energy here for Sagis? Temperance, this is you. Temperance is your energy. This is your representation in Major Arcana, Sagittarius. And we have Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles and Judgment. The time has come. Oh, yes. So I see there were some worries about this relocation. There was something that wasn't coming through. Uh, for some of you, it was uh, financially related. It was money related here. But you're finally coming out of this. You're coming out of this. There is this hope here. And you are relocating. You've been patient. It did take time with this temperance card. Definitely did take time. But the time has uh, has come. The judgment is celebration, is an energy. The time is now and it's absolutely a celebrating of moving into a new place for you. With this page of wands, ace of pentacles, if there were some financial struggles for you to be able to close out one deal and move to this another house, I see that's being sorted now. I see you uh, getting the money that you needed to finalize this relocation here and the time has come. Beautiful. You've been very patient and now everything is just coming into place. All the energies are balancing out. Everything is coming into place and you're coming out of this energy where you felt like you were stuck and not being able to move. We've seen that here as well. This is it. This is a move for you. All right, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Now let's pull some lights here as well for you and uh, let's see what else we have. What other message do we have for Sagittarius? What else is happening for my Sagis? Your cards are flying. We have justice in reverse. Interesting. What is that about? Look at that. We have Ace of Swords. We have the Lovers. Three of Swords. Huh. We have Three of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles here. Wow, and the tower. So what I see here very strongly is that some of you are went through some very turbulent energy in your romantic relationship. Something was unjust. I do feel that uh, um, there was a situation here where the other person... Um, I had a choice. I feel like they were having, uh, they were dealing with you and another person. There was a third party involved here. I do feel that um, this this is something that um, has shook the foundation of your union here for sure. It was definitely unfair. It was definitely unfair towards you. You could have been dealing with a Gemini. You could have been dealing with a Libra. Scorpio is also coming through very strongly. If that's your situation and you have gone through that heartbreak and you're going through that heartbreak where you know, like I said, the other person 
person involved, the third party here, I do see um, an apology coming through. I do see the an apology coming through from this uh, person. I do see that this person is trying to offer you something that is going to last and um, treat you in a much more equal way, not much more fair way here. But with the top of what I see here is that the foundation of this union wasn't strong to hold. I do see that this union is breaking up, but something much better is coming out of this. The tower is a, a energy, especially on this deck of transformation. Uh, on more traditional tarot, you see two people falling out of the tower that, uh, you know, kind of falling out of the comfort zone. They're pushed out of something that is not holding strong together. On this card, there are butterflies. Butterflies signify transformation. And I do feel that you're transforming your own love life. And I will say that for a lot of you, you, you might accept or might not accept the apology, but I don't necessarily see you going back to this person. That's the message, Saji. It's time to enter a new chapter of your life when it comes to romantic situation. If that was your story, if this is the story that you live through or you're currently living through, I see you moving forward. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some keeper cards for you. Let's see what else is happening for my Sagittarius, maybe for a different group of Sagis. What's going on here? We have courthouse interesting message wow despair whoa 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 community and a main male i do feel that you will be getting some uh, it feels like some sort of legal situation in your neighborhood that you're quite worried about i feel like you will be getting messages about it um for some of you this is something being built in the in your neighborhood that maybe the um you're not very happy with or community is not very happy with maybe something needs to be taken down for this new thing to be built and i do feel that um, there was some uh, legal proceedings here that were involved and you're going to be getting results you're going to be getting news about it um let me see okay yeah um i feel like um what's going on here is that definitely there is something there is some news uh, from either legal system for a lot of you it is from a legal system uh, or from a big institution maybe financial institution um, and it is has something to do with uh, the place where you live the community where you live or your extended family that's that's kind of situation that i see here i do feel that there is a person here that will be delivering news to you i do feel that there is an energy here of um something being in the past that cannot be restored but yet something new is coming to replace it. That's the energy I'm getting here. Um, if you, you will know that if this is your story. So if this resonates with you, I feel like whatever's in the past, whatever happened here cannot be restored anymore, but there is something new and, some, uh, something, new and something better that is coming your way. I do feel that there will be um, something new being born, not necessarily, you know, born as in child but something uh, new brought to life some new projects will be coming out here i do feel that there will be a wise decision made by this uh, legal system or whatever it is it is going to be a very wise decision and in the end you have ten of pentacles that's a happy community that's that community celebrating that that whole neighborhood that whole family extended family coming together in uh, prosperity and very good positive energy so that's the outcome i see here here. If that's your situation, you will know. But very positive outcome, but not necessarily what you expect. I feel like it's going to be something else because whatever um, you expect in a way, it cannot be brought back. But there is something new that is much better that is coming out of this situation. This is what I'm getting for you. These are the messages that are coming through. I truly hope this reading was helpful and thank you so, so much for being here. Again, if you celebrate holidays, Happy holiday season. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.